Hello. So this video is going to show you how to use optional machine learning scoring outputs in Oracle Analytics to understand and explain how each record in your own data sets was tagged with a prediction or a score by the model, and particularly what exact attributes were influential for the score for each record. So this is my OEC environment, and let's start by taking a look at the machine learning models I have there. There are many Oracle database machine learning, OML machine learning models that have been registered in my environment already. And if I just click on inspect on any of these models, I will see the details of each of them. This one, for instance, predicts a value for buying insurance. And here are the details of the fields, the output, the inputs and the parameters, what it takes, what type of model it is. In this case, it's a SVN, a support vector machine model. And I could get a lot of information about the model itself, its quality and its metadata by clicking on the related tab here. Related tab shows me a lot of tables where I can find deep information about the model design, about its metadata, about its quality, what are its drivers and so on. So this is generic information about the model itself. But in our case, we're interested in about more than just generic information. We want to know how the model behaves against our own data exactly. So for our own data specifically, what are the drivers and what makes it predict the way that it does? So I'm creating a data flow here. I'm selecting my own insurance data from my business area. This is my customer profile data, and I'm going to apply a model. So add a node to the data flow, picking one of the database models that I have. So I could pick the one that we've looked at, or I can pick any other database model. And the feature that we're describing here applies for all the database model. So I'm picking this database model that predicts the buy insurance field. And I'm going to look up input parameters here so we can see that all the columns that the model needs exist in my data set and the system was able to map them automatically. And if I look at if I look at outputs here, I can see prediction and prediction probability. But I can see a field below expanding into additional outputs. And there are a lot of fields there. There are two groups of fields, prediction sets and prediction detail. Prediction set gives additional outputs of a model when it's possible. So in the case of a multi-value um, classification model, if the most probable outcome is A, what is the probability of the outcome being B and what was the probability, the probability of the outcome being C and so on. So these are additional outputs for each record in my data set, for each record. And they are very valuable functionally when I need to aggregate for my own data set, what is the average probability of each of the outcome of the model, not just the most probable one. Prediction details is a different set of outputs that has a, a totally different meaning. For the most probable outcome or of each record in my data set, Prediction details provides the list of most important attributes that, that drove to that prediction. So for each record in my own data, that gives me a personalized explanation of why the model scored it that way. So for each top five most important attribute, I got the attribute column name, I've got the attribute column weight and the value of the attribute itself. So in my case, let me select this for only top three attributes, not up to top five, just to make it simpler. And let's now go and add a node to the data flow for saving the, the result set. So I just have to provide a name for the new, the result data set. And I may check at the bottom here, the weight, weighting column to set them as, as an average aggregation rule by default here. And that's it. And I can run the data flow. And as I run this data flow, so I have to provide it with a name, this whole operation gets function ship obviously to the Oracle database itself. Nothing is happening in OAC. The work here is calling the Oracle machine learning uh, algorithm in the database. So I've run this on my machine already and I can open the data set, the results set here. And so let me just click around here and say uh, customer ID. Here's customer ID, let me click on it. And let's do a basic uh, representation of the prediction and the prediction probability. This is basic visualization. And now I want to extend it with all of these additional outputs, attributes, and uh, weight and attribute values. So I have already built that report just to fast forward here. This is exactly the same simple report with more columns. And here, 
we can see for each record in my own data set, what are the most important attributes that have led to respective prediction by record. So we can see for the, for the top customers, the fact that they have children, their profession, their marital status, the time as customer or their region. So this is a completely tailored custom explanation on how the model has computed the prediction on each of my own data records. So of course, if I aggregate this, I can get all sorts of very informative insights about what matters in my data set and my records and what is driving the prediction. So I can take business action right based onto this information. So in this case here, I can see that profession or number of transactions per ATM or marital status are some drivers. Now, if I filter by subsets of my data, for instance, some specific region, I can see that this profiling changes and the drivers leading to the predictions are different depending on which subset of records I'm looking at. That will help me take very focused action, uh, first of all, to understand the result, but also to take actions in driving a higher business return of the prediction operation here. So this is a way for me to extract higher value of the prediction and take a more focused business action by better understanding how the prediction comes out. So using OAC and Oracle machine learning together here, I can get to that level of detail. Thank you for watching that video.